Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install macOS on an external hard drive, SSD, or any USB drive. We will install macOS on an external drive without hampering the main operating system. First of all, you will have to connect the external hard drive, SSD, or USB drive to your computer, and then right click on the storage menu, select disk management. If you're installing a new SSD or hard drive to your PC, you will find this type of interface. Now you'll have to select GPT and click on OK. Now right click on it, simple volume, click on next, put the size of the drive as 5 gigabytes. From here the file system should be FAT32, put the name as installer, finish. Now again right click on it, in the simple volume, next, next, put the file system as XFAT, put the name of the drive as macOS and finish it. Now close it. Now you will have to download some files. File downloading link will be given in the description. First of all, you'll have to download CPU's application. You'll have to copy the link. Now from there, scroll a little bit and download the English setup. Now minimize this. Now you'll have to download the recovery files. If you want to install macOS Sonoma, then you will have to download the Sonoma recovery. And if you want to install macOS Ventura, then you will have to download the Ventura recovery. Now you will have to download another tool that is OCAT. Select the link, paste them here, and open the link. Here you will have to log in with the GitHub account, or you can sign up if you don't have any account. Now after logging with your account, you will find OCAT folder here. Now you will have to click on the OCAT 164-zip, download will be started. Now it's done. Now go to the download folder and here you'll find CPU-Z application, just install it. Now it's installed, now you'll have to open CPU-Z, click on yes. So now you can see I'm using i3 8100T, that means 8th generation i3 processor and the code name is Kafka Lake. Now you'll have to go to the download folder again. And so now you'll have to extract the OCAT folder. Put the OCAT to desktop. Minimize this. Now you can close this. Open the folder OCAT. Scroll a little bit. Here we'll find OC Auxiliary Tool. Just open it. If you find a newer version, click on download. When the download is completed, click close and upgrade. Now, if you're using Intel processor, you'll have to click on this icon. And if you're using AMD processor, then you'll have to create an EU5 for yourself. To create an EU5 for AMD processor, there is a video on my channel. You can follow this video. The video link will be given in the description. Now, if you're using Intel processor, click on here. And you'll find Intel CPU configuration template. Click on it. In your browsing page, will be there. From there, you'll have to download as for your system code name. Now, here on the right side, you will find desktop view files. As I'm using desktop, then I'll have to choose desktop. If you're using laptop, then you'll have to use laptop view files. You can see here desktop view files. Click on here and here the configuration template. Click on here. Click on playlist. And here you'll find the list of playlist. And just search for you. Here I'll choose desktop 8 to 9 generation copy lake iMac 19,2. Click on it and just click on here. The download is installed. Download is completed. Minimize this. Now click on OK. Click on File. Click on Open. Go to Download folder. You'll find the file you've downloaded. Select the file and click on Open. Now it's opened. Now, now click on Edit. Click on Generate EFI on the desktop. Now the EFI is generated. Okay. Now the EFI is here. Now you will have to click on this icon. And if you find here everything is green, that means everything is updated. Now you'll have to go to DP and just delete this. Just select this hashtag option and click on the minus icon. It's done. Again, you'll be there and select this hashtag icon and click on the minus icon. It's done. Go to MISC. Go to security. And here the secure mode should be disabled. Now, finally, go to PI tab and here click on generate. Also click on generate, now it's generated and if you click on here you can check your serial number, now just click on save it. Now it's done, close this, now go to download folder, 
he'll find the recovery now right click on the recovery image select extract to recover macrosanoma with to complete the extraction and open the extract sonoma drive select this folder copy go to this pc and here will find installer open it paste it here now you'll have to copy the ufi folder right click on it copy and paste it to here now it's done if you're using skylake or 6 gen processor in Tolisi graphics 500 series then you'll have to follow this guide the guide link will be given in the description now we'll have to reboot your pc and access the bios menu to access the bios menu you can reboot this photo otherwise you can search in google in the bios menu you'll have to perform the following changes now after changing your bios you'll have to remove your external ssd or hard drive and now you'll have to insert your external hard drive or ssd to usb 2.0 please don't use 3.0 or 3.1 or 3.2 you'll have to access the boot menu of a pc to access the boot menu you can remember this photo otherwise you can search in google if you want to host your own website you can try hosting it link will be given in the description now from the boot menu you will have to choose your ssd or hard drive which you have installed it to your pc and hit the arrow key now in the screen you'll have to select installer.dmg select it and hit on the enter key now in the screen you'll have to select disk utility and click on continue now click on here select show all devices now you'll have to select this mac os drive click on erase from the drop down select apfs click on erase now it's done click on done now close it now select or reinstall Mac OS Sonoma or Mentira, whichever you have selected, it will show here. Now in this stage, you will have to make sure that you are connected to a proper internet connection. Because in this step, you will have to download 12 to 13 gigabytes of Mac OS. Now let's click on continue. Click on continue. Click on continue. Click on agree. Again click on agree. Select the Mac OS drive. Click on continue. Now every time your PC restarts, you'll have to put the PC from your SSD. Now this time you'll have to set up your Mac OS. Now you can see your macOS is ready. Log in with your password and it's ready. Now you can enter your macOS. Now every time you want to boot your macOS, you'll have to access the boot menu and then you'll have to boot from external SSD and you will boot into your macOS. Thanks for watching.